Hi, this is Anusha from Informatica Global Customer Support and today I am here to talk about mapping failures on DIS. We will go through some basic information on how mappings are run on DIS, what are the types of mappings that can be run through the product and also what information needs to be collected in case of mapping failures. Mappings on DIS can be run in the following listed ways. As an independent mapping, this can be run directly from the developer tool by right clicking on the mapping and choosing run mapping. Another way to run a mapping is to deploy it as an application. These mappings are called the deployed mappings which are run through command line using InfaCMD MS run mapping. These commands are to be run from Infra Home ISP bin location. There is no way to initiate deployed mappings directly from client tools like developer or Informatica administrator. Please refer to our command reference guide for the syntax details of MS run mapping command. Third way of running a mapping is as a part of workflow. So the mappings that you develop can be run as a mapping task under a workflow. These workflows can be initiated either from the Informatica administrator, from the DIS applications tab or you can also start them using command line InfaCMD WFS start workflow. Mappings can be run in DIS in two ways. There are two ways in which the DIS launches mapping and executes the same. The first form is where the DIS runs the mapping as part of its own process and memory. This is called the mapping run in data integration service process. In this case, when any fatal error happened to the mapping, it is high chance that the DIS itself crashes. Usually the web services are run in the DIS in service process mode. The second way of running the mapping is when the mappings are allocated to in DIS child processes like PM DTM SVC2. Here the mapping compilation simplification and executions are performed by PM DTM SVC2. This is the most common way of running mappings on DIS. You can control this behavior by using below property on DIS which is the launch job options. You can change it and then choose the mode in which you want to run a mapping. In case a mapping failure is reported, the root cause of the mapping failure is recorded in the mapping logs. Additionally, the status of the mapping will be updated in the DS. Based on the different types of mappings run on DIS, the logs for these mappings are also generated in different folders in, under different names. The logs are created under Infra Home Logs Services Data Integration Service DIS Logs MS Directory and the name of the logs start with the prefix mapping underscore followed by the mapping name you have given. If it is a deployed mapping, you can find it under the same directory but with a prefix deployed underscore mapping. If you are running the mapping as, as a mapping task under a workflow, the logs are created in a different directory called mapping task under logs services data integration service DIS logs. If you are using an older version of Informatica which is older than 10.x, below is the locations where you should be checking for the mapping logs. Another scenario of mapping failure is a crash. When a mapping crash happens, you will not see user-friendly messages in the mapping log. Below is shown the common format in which a mapping crash log looks like. Check for this information in the mapping log. If you find it, then you can be sure that your mapping has crashed. 
if your Informatica server is installed on any Unix machine, there will be a core file which gets generated for the mapping crash. The core file gets generated under Tomcat bin directory on the Informatica server. Core creation should be enabled on the Informatica server so that you can get a core dump created. You can run ulimit-a from Informatica server by logging in as the user who started Informatica services and check if the core creation is enabled for your user. The, co the core file size should be set to unlimited or to a very high value for the core file to get created. As you can see in the given output, the core file size is set to a very high value and this will ensure a core file of this size maximum will be created. Now, if your Informatica services are installed on Windows machine, then you will have to manually create the crash dump for a mapping failure. Informatica services are installed on Windows machine, then please install a Microsoft freeware called Deepak Dayak which will help you manually create a crash dump for the mapping crash. Please refer to the following knowledge base articles which will help you on how to download and configure Deepak Dayak. Once Deepak Dayak is installed, please create a user dump for the failed mapping and provide us with the mapping log, the crash dump and the DIS log for further analysis. Please collect the following information and hand over to Informatica Global Customer Support for further analysis. A core file, if it is a mapping crash scenario, if it is a normal mapping failure, you can ignore the step. Mapping logs from the four mentioned directories and the DIS log. Based on the information provided, we will be sharing our analysis and help you resolve the issue. We will now look at a simple mapping which is run on DIS and we will check how to check the logs in case of a failure. As you can see this is a simple read write mapping from the employees table that I have created for demo purposes. Now we will run this mapping and see if it fails or succeeds. We will check the logs and see the status of mapping. As you can see, the mapping has failed due to the following error highlighted by me. The error looks like some issue with loading libraries. You can always check for this error message in Informatica knowledge base to get any relevant keys, or please hand over the mapping log and DIS log along with the error message highlighted and we will help you. That's all I had for today's topic. Please contact Global Customer Support for any further queries or any further details you need on the topic shared today. Thank you.